You know, the feet are something that's neglected by all of us, for the most part, and yet they do an awful lot to get us around. So, if your feet ache from time to time, let us know, and maybe we can do a little bit more on showing you how you can relieve them yourself or with a friend. So I'm working on Jen Hillman, and we're going to look at the feet and check them out. The first thing that I like to do is check with the uh, pliability, the way that they are opening. I'm going to put this up here and give a little raise to her foot. Um, checking the joint mobility um, uh, of the foot is usually where I like to to start and check things out. There's a lot of misalignment that can happen in the foot when you have any kind of thing going on with the knee or the hip. And as many of you have probably heard me say before, or the jaw also will take things out. If you are working on somebody who has low back pain, it's pretty important to also check the position of the feet because they are going to be out of alignment and they need to have some uh, some of their correction in order to help that hip or knee to get into a different position. As long as the, the foot is not corrected, the heel strike will remain the same for the most part. So I'm just applying a little bit of oil here and I'm going to just work into this foot, the pads and down into the between the the bones. Sometimes feet will be ticklish at first. You can go into it slowly and more often than not you'll be able to get past that tickly sensation. Rotating the the toes is a nice thing to do. I'm not really one to pull on the toes and make them pop, although a little traction on the toes is nice. And if you feel comfortable pulling the toe, I know that not everybody likes to really have that quick popping thing. So you might want to ask, you know, what people want. And remember that there's different joints coming out of the toes. So you want to find and feel for each range of motion in each of those little joints. It's real important. You can find a lot of subtlety in there. And you'll also be able to pick up when there's something that's not quite right and urge it back to its proper position. And then you can go to the pad. Now here's a bunch of bones as well, long, longer, thinner bones. Remember that the foot is designed to walk on uneven surfaces. And the healthier that a foot is, the more opportunity it has to be on uneven surfaces. It's kind of hard on the feet to stay on concrete all day so if you do have to do that you might want to get a shoe that's very comfortable and if you do uh, stay on your feet for long periods of time there are things that you can do that are considered to be um, inversions in the yoga world and you don't have to stand on your head for an inversion if you just go up next against a wall and bring your feet up along the wall or I suppose you could even bring them up on a couch or a chair just so that they're higher than your head it would be a, a type of an inversion and that's nice to do for your legs and feet if they get kind of feeling swollen Perhaps sometime I'll show you how to drain the legs uh, so that you can drain your, your legs if you get swollen ankles. It's very important to keep those 
avenues open when they're swelling. Now here I'm just grabbing onto this heel bone and getting the range of motion. There's range of motion with the heel. And just making sure that it's nice and pliable and getting into the, the ankle as well. And of course, I'm draining. I always do spend time draining into the joint. Sometimes the stiffness that we experience is, is stuck lymph fluid, and it's nice to have it be warmed up and manually moved. So there's one foot. A lot of massage work is, is to keep the body pliable and flexible, um, circulation running well. Muscle work is different than other body work. So here we've applied the oil again and just going to check out and check for these little range of motion. What's going on with these little toes? And I'll be moving through this one a little bit faster. You know, just take your time and move it around and it's a good idea if you're not familiar with how these feet are look down to the bone just check out you know what it looks like as a skeleton and what it looks like with muscle on it and you'll get a little bit of an idea what you're working on a large part of what we do with body work is just paying attention and knowing what we're doing, of course, but paying attention and, and also listening to what the body wants. There's, there's the typical technician who wants to figure it out in their head what's happening and try to work the corrections that way, which normally doesn't give you the kind of results that you can get if you just get yourself out of the way and listen to the body and follow what the body's telling you. It's not a thing about deep pressure, it's not a thing about bigger stretch, it's a thing about what the body needs in order to help it on its own way of correction. So be mindful of that, especially if you're getting into the business. There's a lot of competition out there. And so if you refine yourself well, you'll develop a lot more precise skills and be able to identify things in the body and also get some pretty incredible results out of it. Okay, these feet are actually quite flexible. It's a, it's a very good foot in the way of pliability and mobility and range of motion. And normally feet tend to be quite stiff because of the way that we handle them. So if you can get out of your shoe and walk around and go up to your tiptoes and move your feet around, maybe walk out in the grass if you have some lawn that you can get out into. And exercise your feet the way that they're meant to be exercised. But these are two feet that are in very good shape. So there wasn't any real correction that needed to happen. And then you can give a little traction on these feet. Here is just, a, it's a pull, but it's, it's not a pull like you're pulling the bones. It's more of a pull like you're pulling the fascia, like it's a stocking. And when you do that, you can get a feel for any other restrictions that are going up the front of the leg. If it's in the knee, you can feel it. If it's in the hip, you can feel it. If it's um, torquing along the, the uh, 
quadricep with some sort of a twist in the fascia, you can feel that. And the body inevitably will want to do a little bit of motion to unwind. And again, this is something that if it's too rough, too abrupt, you're not going to be able to find it because the body won't present it unless you're more uh, in honor or just waiting for the body to show you it. And there was a little bit of unwinding with the foot. Not much, not anything really significant. But a little correction that, it, that it's made just from normal, every day, getting up and walking around. Okay, there we have the feet. Thank you so much. Let us know how yours feel.